what this is is a pretty much a proof of concept of Mystery Science Theater. And um, it was, I was um, very unorganized back in the day, and uh, I, I, I kind of had this idea, of, oh, don't start it yet. Um, the, it, it was kind of like, um, I, I, just to give you the background, I, I, when I quit doing stand-up and went back to Minneapolis, um, I had this idea for a show I called You Are Here, which was kind of based on uh, The Omega Man with Charlton Heston. And, uh, and uh, you familiar with that? And the same source material as on as the Will Smith movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I had an idea for a show that was um, <laughs> like that, and that it was the end of the world, and there had been some kind of catastrophe, apocalypse, and I was the last guy on Earth, and I had a robot companion, and we were, it's from that scene in uh, The Omega Man where he's watching Woodstock and kind of talking to the screen, saying, oh, look at all the people, look at all the people, and I, I just drew up this character named Rex the Robot, and I, it was supposed to be at the end of the world, and I was broadcasting, and, um, I, I, I ran into this guy, Jim Mallon, who we became, we became partners at, at Mystery Science Theater. But he approached me and he wanted to do a stand-up comedy special, kind of like Last Comic Standing kind of thing, where it was comics competing for a prize. And I just got done doing What a great stuff. idea for a show. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, so anyway, I, I, um, I kind of wasn't very interested in it because I just got done doing three years of stand-up. So, I just remembered him because more than anything I went away going, wow, there's a guy in Minneapolis who has access to a, a TV studio and he wants to do new programming. So um, I kind of went back to the You Are Here idea and cleaned it up because it was kind of a dire idea of an apocalypse comedy where everyone's dead and I kind of go, oh, well, I always liked the movie Silent Running and I made these robots out of found objects for a while. And I go, oh, I can use that for puppets. So I kind of transpose that idea of watching movies in silhouette with these puppets. And that's kind of how Mystery Science Theater came to be. And I, uh, I pitched it to Jim Allen, and he liked it. And before we knew it, we were getting ready to make this pilot. And um, the day before we shot, I, I called Trace and Josh. And uh, they were in, we were in a writing group together. And, uh, um, I called them in and said, hey, I need you to be, did I tell you I wanted you to be puppeteers? Or what, how did I it was do? just kind of like, hey, I'm doing the show and uh, there's movies and puppets and do you want to come do it with me? <laughs> That's kind of the pitch, as I recall. I think Trace will back up on that. <laughs> exactly, verbatim. <laughs> anyway, um, th when they came in, uh, there were the puppets laying on the table and um, at that time, there were three puppets, and I think it's in this one, but uh, Tom Servo does not make his appearance in this one. I had, um, I pulled an all-nighter to make the robots. So Crow is there, Gypsy is there, and a robot named Beeper is there. And Josh did Beeper, and it did Gypsy, and Trace did Crow. And so this is the original proof of concept, um, and uh, it, it kind of shows you what we were thinking for host segments, and then the silhouette concept. We don't really riff on movies, is really to kind of convey the story that went through it. So if you want to run it, we can watch it. You can hit the lights and uh, we can watch this. Uh, 
the, the movie today is uh, The Green Slime. I'll meet you in Mystery Science Theater 3000. I'll go around. You can go through. Beepers down there on the floor. 
And this, this is Gypsy. Hey, how are you, huh? Oh, you got a little drooling. Let me get that. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Okay, good boy. Here's a biscuit. Here you go. All right, good boy. You know, both these rock robots are of my own design. Yeah. There are 25 other robots working about doing various complicated operations around the ship. You know, Crow, I think most of them are outside right now putting on the new store windows. <laughs> All right, so I programmed them to laugh at my jokes. I mean, if they spend as much time out in space as I have, it can turn you into kind of a freak. Hey, <laughs> Crow. Yes, Joe, no, that's it. I found the secret of life the other day, but it kind of bummed me out. You found the secret of life? Why should it bum you out? It was on a track. <laughs> Hey, the movie's coming, Gypsy. We gotta roll. 